computing the value of a firm using three stage model where this to be applied if the company is growing at a very high rate so if there is a company as a very high growth firm it is expected to grow at 20% for 3 years then 12% for 3 years and then 5% till infinity so the first 3 years it is growing at 20% then year 4 to 6 it is growing at 12% and then it is growing at 5% till infinity so we can see that the free cash flow for the just ended financial year is given as 50 and we have to compute the free cash flow for the next 7 years so for the first year it will be 50 into 1 plus the growth rate in the first 2 3 years first 3 years so we are going to fix because we have to drag it for the next 3 years then after that it will be 1 plus 12 years 12% this will go for the next 3 years and the seventh year it will be this into 1 plus 5% okay now we have to compute the horizon value at t equal to 7 so if i have to compute the horizon value at t equal to 7 i am going to use the free cash flow at t equal to 8 which will be this into 1 plus 5% divided by vac minus g where is vac is 9% minus the growth rate of 5% so this gives me the terminal value now you have to compute the present value of terminal value or horizon value the present value of horizon value will be this which is a terminal value divided by 1 plus the cost which is vac to the power 7 because it is coming at the end of 7th year present value of the free cash flow will be computed using the npv function where the rate is 9% and we have to take all the free cash flow from year 1 to 7 okay so the value of the operation will become this plus this the present value of terminal value and present value of free cash flow the value of the operation we know know that this is the value of the operating activity but the company already has some investment which is the marketable securities so 40 it should be marketable securities the total value of the company will be the sum of these two but we have to reduce the debt the debt is notes payable plus the long term bonds then preferred stock so the total value of the company will be the value of company equity will be value of company minus debt minus the preferred stock and the number of shares we is given as 40 number of shares is 40 so the value of the price per share will be 47.09 so this is how you will get the free cash flow to the firm three stage model thank you